Hi, I'm Sona, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make ice cream in a bag. First up, we have materials. Just in case you don't have measuring cups at home, I've put everything into these standard 16 ounce cups from the dollar store. Feel free to approximate if you have to. For this activity, you'll need one cup of half and half, 1.5 teaspoons of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of sugar, at least three cups of ice, one quarter cups of salt, one small plastic bag, preferably the size of one quart, one large Ziploc bag, preferably the size of one gallon, and of course, any and all ice cream toppings. Today, I have some rainbow sprinkles. And this is optional, but the bags are going to get pretty cold, so you might want some gloves too. All right, let's get started. So first, you're gonna take a small Ziploc bag, and in here, we're gonna put our measured out sugar, vanilla extract, and half and half. And now this step is really, really important. We're gonna seal this bag really well and make sure that we squeeze all of the air out. Make sure you take the time to do this. And then for extra protection, if you'd like, you can put this smaller bag into another bag of the same size and of course, seal that one as well. Now, we're gonna put this sealed smaller bag into our large gallon-sized bag. And we're gonna pour in all of our ice. Remember, three cups is the minimum, but if you have some more, that is helps speed up the reaction too. And now, just crush your ice, make sure that the smaller bag is completely surrounded. And now, for this chemical reaction part that I'm going to explain momentarily, we're going to add in the salt. And now, make sure, please, please, please make sure that you seal up this bag really, really well. So you avoid doing something like that. I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm back. Just got a fresh cup, fresh bag of ice, adding a little bit of salt in there. And now I'm gonna put my first bag back into this larger gallon sized bag. And again, make sure that small bag is completely covered. And now we're really, really, really gonna seal this gallon bag correctly. Get all the air out, make sure it's completely tight. Double check it, triple check it. And now this is gonna get pretty cold. So we're gonna put on some gloves. These are just good old kitchen mitts. Um, again, from the, for any oven use. And now we're gonna start shaking. So while we're shaking, this is what's gonna create the ice cream, this chemical reaction. But how is this working? So the salt that we added to the half and half lowers the melting point of the ice, just like it does when we add salt to roads in the winter. In order for the ice to melt, however, it has to absorb the heat from its surroundings, like the half and half. The ice pulls the heat away from the ice cream to melt, which allows the mixture to freeze, creating ice cream. So cool. So this step is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes of shaking. Feel free to play catch with a sibling, take a little break, switch off with your friend. Um, and then 
Every once in a while, you can open the bag to check the ice cream to see if it's at the consistency that you want it. Uh, and then if the ice on the outside melts, feel free to add some more in, put a little more salt and keep going. Uh, this part is a good workout, good for the arms, good for the heart, uh, and it's totally gonna make the ice cream at the end worth it. I am back after shaking for some time. My ice cream is ready, so I'm taking off my gloves now. I'm gonna pull out my soft serve from the small bag. And now this is the easy part. We're just gonna take out the inner bag and we're gonna put it all into a little bowl for us to enjoy. Uh, be a little careful here. It might get a little bit sticky and messy. I'm just gonna empty out the ice cream into the bowl. And now we're gonna grab our sprinkles or whatever toppings you'd like. And now for the fun part. Enjoy. Thanks for joining me.